Hey, you guys like my socks? Huh? Huh? Snazzy? Centered. Get into the zone here. Welcome everyone to the Future Space Collective. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining the collective. If you're new here, this is where we explore the world of products for imagination. More on that later. Today, what we're doing is we're gonna unbox another one of our packages that arrived from our AliExpress haul I did a few weeks back. Basically, I bought a bunch of decor all around the theme of anti-gravity. So I've been building out this playlist, uh, link to that above, somewhere, below, I don't know. So what does that mean? It means literally the decor, the lights are floating. There is nothing holding them. It's like magic. Let's jump right in to today's product. Let me go get it. It's always fun to see how the packages arrive coming directly from China all the way here to Toronto, Canada. That is where I reside. I don't know where to even begin. They've taped the entire thing. Maybe we'll try from here. Okay. So now that we've finally removed all of that annoying tape, we are ready. Let's take a look at this box here. So basically what we've purchased here, it is a desk lamp that has a levitating bulb from the top down. It also has a wireless charging phone base uh, from what I understand. So it is perhaps one of the most practical uh, anti-gravity pieces we've ordered. Uh, that also meshes functionality and practicality together into one unified lovely product. Man, have they ever really used a lot of tape to package this thing up here. Ah! Guys, when you're opening boxes with knives, always cut away from your body. What may seem like an obvious tip, I assure you, ends many people in the emergency room. I don't know. Okay, so we finally have opened this thing up. I gotta tell you, I've had better unboxing experiences. Look at this, look at this styrofoam they just kind of stuffed in. I don't know if that, let's just keep that all together because I don't see any reason to go in there. But okay, so what do we got? We have our floating bulb. We have the power brick AC adapter and we have the lamp itself. Actually, let's let's first un uh, let's unwrap the bulb here. I'm curious how bright this bulb is gonna be. Whoa, it's a pretty cool looking bulb. I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, let's get this bag out of the way, and now let's take this lamp out of the bag here. Woo! You know, it's got a really nice finish to it. It looks super elegant. I purposely chose the model that had a black matte finish. I think that is the most elegant finish. Yeah, let's plug this thing, oh, oh. So it looks like they've shipped me uh, not a North American plug, which is uh, gonna make this a little bit more difficult. Let me see if I have an adapter we can use instead. It was totally my bad. But when I ordered the product, I totally selected the wrong plug type for my country. Make sure you select the correct outlet whenever you're ordering electronics, especially from AliExpress. Learn from my mistakes. Now, luckily, because I ordered so many items from AliExpress, the magnetic levitating sneaker display, which was the last video uh, from our anti-gravity haul, link to that up below, it does uh, fit. Crisis averted, the video can go on. The input for the lamp is at the back of the base here, kind of like that, that's how it works. That's what it looks like on the bottom, in case you're wondering. So I've got a little plug here I've run under the table to test out our products. So because I have balanced quite a few magnetic products now, it shouldn't be too much of a challenge for me. Let's, let's see if I can get it. Oh, first try, no problem! And we're off to the races. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Let's shut off our backlight here. Okay, so here we have it now. It's all plugged in. It's pretty cool. I have to say, I do love this piece. 
I, I just, I love all these floating magnetic pieces. I will say it does not give off very much light at all. It's just more of a background light, decorative. You're not getting a lot of light output from it, but it is a really neat piece. There's no wires, there's no nothing. It's just there is power somehow going through this empty space. It's, I don't know, it, it blows my mind. What do you guys think of it? It's crazy. I do have an alternate uh, floating bulb, very similar to this that you may also be interested in, which I also purchased from AliExpress uh, a previous time. So let me go grab that. Same idea. So this guy floats and spins as well, but it's a different style. So we've brightened up the exposure a bit so you guys can see the lights better. They are different pieces. They're both decorative. They're both super cool. Personally, I like this one. I keep it on top of my speaker because it kind of makes it look like a tube amp kind of thing. I love that this one's kind of got a spiral filament inside, whereas this one's more of a, a geometrical, kind of like a pyramid shape uh, filament inside the bulb itself. Yeah, both great, turn them off. Turn them on. They're both touch lamps. They both don't provide very much output, but they are both super, super cool. And in my opinion, a must buy. If you enjoy this content, you wanna see more, and you wanna help the channel grow, please engage with the videos. Like, comment, subscribe, if you will. And I can grow the channel bigger. I can review better products, cooler stuff. I have a really big imagination. I'd love to just have the budget to peel it open and make some epic videos so I could use your guys' help. Hit that subscribe button. Join the collective today. Let's have a conversation below in the comments. I will do my best to respond to every comment as long as I can with regards to art, decor, lighting, and smart technology, all within the realm of bringing your space into the future.